Welcome to the Apogee Element Series video tutorials. In this video, we'll show you how to enable Logic's I.O. labels so it's easier to identify the input and output channels of your element interface. You may have noticed that when you go to choose which inputs or outputs you want to use in your DAW, the generic labels lack adequate description. Luckily, the element software provides descriptive labels. You just need to tell Logic to use them. Once you have your Logic project open, you need to make sure that the advanced tools are enabled. Do this by going to the Logic Pro menu, Preferences, and then Advanced Tools. Check the box for Advanced. Go to the Mix menu and choose I.O. Labels. For all inputs, change the selection to Provided by Driver. You can click and drag over all the labels to change this setting all at once. Now when you choose an input or output in your Logic Track, it shows the descriptive label from Element, making it much easier to route your signal. By the way, you can do the same thing with any of Apogee's family of USB and Thunderbolt interfaces because they all provide these descriptive labels. It's yet another touch of the Apogee advantage. For more helpful videos on using your Element Series interface and Element Control software, check out the additional Element Series video tutorials.